Families will soon have another resource for Alzheimer's. Their Center World team in Baton Rouge has expanded with a new center in Prairieville. Leaders will host a grand opening celebration of that center next week. But this morning, Dr. Reggie Ross and Danica Woods are here to talk about the Alzheimer's and its impact on so many families in our area. Thank both of you all for joining us this morning. I'll start with you, Danica. Just first tell us what are the early signs of Alzheimer's? So initially, patients can present with memory loss, but with Alzheimer's, the memory loss becomes where it's a disruption to the daily life. They may not be able to pay bills. They may not remember places, familiar places that they have driven before. So at Centerwell, what we do is we do a yearly screening, a yearly cognitive screening on all patients, and we also do that as needed as well, and then work with the family and the patient to develop a treatment plan. And when it comes to that treatment plan, I guess, how should seniors maintain their cognitive health? Because is it typically 65 when that decline starts to happen? Typically 65. It can occur earlier sometimes, and that's why it's called early onset Alzheimer's. But in maintaining that cognitive brain health, we want to make sure that patients continue to have, if they have chronic conditions, keeping those controlled, engaging in exercise, engaging in social activities, things that will stimulate the brain. And and at Centerwell, we have an activity center where seniors can come, they can engage in activities, also socially interact with others, and we also have crafts and educational sessions for them as well. Dr. Ross, are there any other tips that seniors can do to try to maintain, you know, their brain health? Well, just like uh, MP Danica said, you know, exercise is really important and just preventing social isolation. Uh, that's really uh, important to help them, you know, of course, prevent it. But even if they do start to decline cognitively, it kind of decreases the uh, cognitive decline. Now, I once heard a uh, long time ago, they said that, I guess, if you do a lot of word puzzles, word puzzles mm -hmm. help prevent, is that, is that sure. true? Absolutely, absolutely. Really? Yes, yes, word puzzles, the board games, chess, things like that, those are things that help to keep the brain healthy and stimulate it. I do know recently our state lawmakers, they passed a new law where they're creating a new office with the um, Department of Health to provide more resources to family. I want both of you all's reaction to, you know, do you all feel uh, that that's needed to help families struggling maybe with this uh, illness? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> One of the things we struggle with in the state, in a lot of states, is behavioral health uh, services. So anything that we can do to expand uh, resources and access uh, and services for patients with, with any type of mental health uh, disorders, it's really gonna gonna help. So I think it's certainly something that that's gonna be well received, and certainly it's it's much needed here in the state. I do know. Uh, I recently did a, a story with my Family Focus uh, brand here, and it's cost millions of dollars. I, I could be actually um, hurt a family's wallets to actually try Absolutely. to even deal with Alzheimer's. Have you all kind of witnessed that as well? You, you know, caring for patients with, with Alzheimer's is, is pretty challenging uh, for, for families and caretakers. Oftentimes they're dealing with also uh, depression, uh, anxiety, and they can have significant uh, mood changes. Uh, so mm. of course things that they can do for that is to um, you know, just like you would soothe and comfort anybody, you know, gently, you know, brushing their hair, uh, stroking their hair, things like uh, talking to them in a low, uh, slow manner and not engage in verbal warfare that a lot of patients, caretakers, that, that they will do. So that's really important. Music also is, it can really help to relax them, especially if it's music that evokes, you know, a pleasurable and, and memorable experience. Could be that that the music they played on their first uh, date with their uh, significant other or maybe their wedding uh, song, things like that can really help. Uh, as well as some of the colored noises uh, can also help. In particular, pink noise is a study that showed that it could actually uh, improve memory and help patients uh, with, with sleep when they're suffering from uh, dementia. But one of the most important things to do is really stay engaged with their providers. Okay. Uh, so when they have doctor appointments, it's really important for the caretakers uh, to try to participate in that. If they can't come in, uh, and we understand everybody is busy, uh, maybe do a three-way uh, phone call. That's what we do at Centerwell. If the family member can't physically be there, we will actually do a three-way phone call with them to discuss 
their care, their, their loved one, because then it's a lot easier for them all to, uh, to help. Uh, but the other thing, too, is caretakers need to take care of themselves. Right. A lot of times they neglect themselves yes. taking care of their family members, and they're not going to be in any uh, shape to take care of their family members if they neglect their own you know, physical, mental, or emotional health. So that's important also. And I'm sure, when speaking of care real quickly, can you just kind of explain, I guess, the care options? Because as I said, you all are expanding your Baton Rouge office to Prairie View. What are the care options that you all offer that's going to be offered at your all's new location? Well, well, certainly wellness centers are, are important mm -hmm. uh, and other wellness activities. Uh, in each parish here in the listening audience, their parish, they have a Council of Aging. So that's a good resource for them to reach out to the Council of Aging. They have a lot of programs on a monthly basis that help to uh, decrease social isolation but do it in a, in a safe environment. Uh, and certainly at CenterWell, you know, that's what we do. You know, we are a senior-focused primary care doctor office, meaning that we specialize in conditions that seniors are in impacted by. So we have 10 centers throughout Louisiana and the newest center opening is going to be Prairieville. So in well, Prairieville we have our grand opening on June uh, 26. 26 yeah. uh, 10 to 1 we invite everybody to come out. It's open and free to the public. Uh, they're going to be able to meet the entire team, the providers, the other team members there. Uh, bingo, uh, food. Uh, so it's going to be a great All time and, and we don't want everybody to come out. 